Hey guys, I have a Bath and Body Works haul. It's a small haul, it's not real big, but I figured I'd go ahead and do a haul video anyway. Since um, I usually try to show if I get if I get like one candle or two, I probably won't do a haul, but if I get three or more, I'll do a haul. And I got three, so I figured I would do a haul. So it's not gonna be very long, just real quick here. I wanted to get some, they were two for 24 over the Memorial Day weekend, and I ended up going Today's Wednesday, and I went Monday on the last day of the sell and got some. I wanted to get three, well, two for 24, and I got one more. I got three, so, and then I also got a coupon for 10 off 40, which I'm hoping they're not going to do now instead of 10 off 30 because it's not as good, but it's better than nothing, I guess. And then I wanted to have that for the semi annual sell in case I wanted to get some stuff at the semi annual sell, so I figured I would go get some candles and get that coupon. So, what I got was, hold on a second, Brad's calling me. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so I will show you real quick the three that I got. The first one I got was Rainforest Gardenia. And this one is from the Brazilian line, it just has the clear lids. I don't really like these clear lids because they leave fingerprints really bad on here. That's the only thing I don't like about those, just the regular uh, mirror-like lids. I like the ones that don't leave fingerprints, but I got this one because they have the new one that came out with the, the newest line. I forget the name of it. It has the smoked, uh, just clear jars. I really like the jars of the new ones, but to me, I smelled this one and I smelled the newer ones, and this one smelled a little bit stronger to me. So I went ahead and got this one. This one reads, an intoxicating white floral note with lush green undertones mixes with fresh bamboo and sweet apple water. And it smells very, uh, very florally and perfumey, which I don't, I don't normally like those, which I've said over and over again, but I'm starting to like them a little bit more. I don't know why it's, I don't know if it's because it's spring, almost summer. I'm just, I'm kind of liking them. They just seem really refreshing to me lately. But this one I've heard is super, super strong, so I had to try it out and see because I've heard lots and lots of people talk about how strong this one is. So I'm like, I gotta check it out for myself and see. But yeah, it's very, very perfumey. It reminds me of a perfume my mom wears or used to wear. It kind of reminds me of like, what was it called? Maybe like, um, what is it called? Oh, I don't remember. It's kind of like, a, was it the shoulders or white shoulders or something or other like that? Something like that. It reminds me of a perfume my mom wore, but it's nice, but we will see how that throws and how I like this scent. I heard it strong, so I had to try it out. I've been hearing a lot about it lately. And then the next one I got was Coconut Vanilla. It has a little uh, dust cover on it. doesn't have a lid, just the dust cover, which I hate sniffing these in the store because I can't smell anything unless I take the dust cover off. And when you take it off, it's hard to get back on those wicks. But anyway has that on there and it has a really pretty uh real pretty like t different color glass it's like blue and kind of a greenish towards the bottom part of it i really love that jar it's really pretty and this one reads a beach lover's delight creamy coconut water mixes with a sweet tropical vanilla and sandalwood and this smells really really good it smells definitely like coconut but you get that little bit of creamy vanilla mixed with the sandalwood that makes it really nice. And I almost like this more than, I can get a little bit better smell if I do this and just kind of sniff it with the, kind of like the lids and if I just kind of open them. It smells, uh, I really liked, um, yeah, the blue one, the one I liked a lot. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to think of it now, the, the one that just came out, the uh, Honolulu Sun. That was my one of my favorite coconut scents, but this one actually I almost like a little bit better on cold sniff anyway, because it has that sandalwood and I love sandalwood. So we will see how that burns and I'm hoping maybe it'll do really good because I love sandalwood and vanilla and coconut. So I have high hopes for that one. And then I don't remember the name of the line, but it's the newest line that came out. I can't remember the name of the line. And I, I'm getting really mixed up with the name of the newest summer type of lines. I can't remember the names of them. And this one here is the last one I got, Endless Weekend. And it has another dust cover, 
no lid, just dust cover, and it's got the marbled, smoky type of jar. It's all one color in this jar. It's like a kind of like a light. Mm, I don't know what color is that. Aqua, almost kind of a uh, not quite turquoise, a lush bluish, light turquoise maybe color, light green kind of. And this one is Endless Weekend. It reads a blend of fresh summer mandarin, creamy vanilla, and blue coconut water that evokes days of sunshine and happiness you wish would never end. This one is really, really good. It it's a little perfumey too, but but not as much as like the uh, Rainforest Gardenia. Um, this one it it says mandarin and creamy vanilla and blue coconut, which the coconut vanilla is it's a little bit of that, but then I guess it's the mandarin. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My battery just died on my phone, so I had to charge it up for a little bit and then restart this. So I will continue where I left off. I was talking about Endless Weekend. And like I was saying, it does have a little bit of um, the coconut vanilla, but it's not near as prominent as it was like in the coconut vanilla. That one was just, you know, really straight up coconut and vanilla with the sandalwood mixed in there. This one, you get a little bit of that, but it's not near as much. It's um, that coconut vanilla is very much in the background on this one. And it, I get like a, I don't know if it's so much Mandarin kind of, but more like a, kind of a pink sugar kind of smell to me. Like the wax melts and stuff that, uh, that have that pink sugar kind of smell. That's kind of what I get with this a little bit. So I'm kind of curious to see what that'll be like when it when it um, burns. It's kind of a pink sugar, coconut, vanilla type of scent a little bit, kind of mixed all and all together. Um, it smells pretty good, so I'm really curious about this. This has been out before, this Endless Weekend. Um, last year was out, and I don't. I think last year was the first year, or was the year before. And then of course it's been out in the body care too, so um, I've decided to finally pick one up because I really like it, and I really like the jars too, the marble. Um, the smoky color glass so those are the three I got so I just wanted to share with you real quick what I got um, Monday at Bath and Body Works the two for 24 so now I should be finished with Bath and Body Works until the semi-annual sale and um, I don't know how much I'm gonna buy the semi-annual sale it just depends on what they bring back I mean there's some that I've heard might be coming back and I kind of want to try and um, we'll just see I know I think last year they only had like, um, what was the price of them? I think they were eleven dollars. Is that how much they were, or was it eleven fifty? It was a eleven, eleven fifty, or twelve dollars. I think for their SAS candles, because I was remember, I remember thinking it wasn't good as a deal if they were two for twenty two at that time, which would be eleven each. When they when when they were on sale two for twenty two at that time they would be eleven each and then the semi annual sale they were like eleven fifty or twelve maybe and I was like that's not even as good as a deal as the two for twenty two but I'm hoping they make them lower this year I think I think the SAS sale should make them like ten dollars at least or nine eight would be great but I I know they do have some that are like um really didn't sell well like that red velvet. The Red Velvet Cupcake, I think, was like for five dollars, and some other ones they have for five dollars, but they don't. Most of them they have for like eleven dollars or so, which is, you know, basically it's like the two for twenty-two, pretty much. It's not, you know, that big of a deal, but I mean, they just tend to bring scents back that they hadn't had before for this SASL. Um, so, you know, just have to check out and see what they have. Um, I didn't buy a whole lot last year at the SASL, so we'll see what happens this year. I'm hoping that they have some better deals. So that is it for my haul, and thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more videos, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.